Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here once again. By now, you know how much we love our global positioning units. We first fell in love with them back in the early days of our autonomous vehicle competitions. Ah, those were good times. Well, we've come a long way since then, and so have global positioning units. I've used GNSS modules to make sure I didn't wander too far from the office, uh, to keep track of how fast I was running and encouraging me if I slowed down. Uh, I drew the SparkFun logo in our parking lot in giant scale. I even used a GNSS module to make a pop-up party planner. Well, once again, we're introducing a new GNSS module to our quite extensive line. Introducing, and remember you saw it here first, the new SparkFun GPS breakout with the chip antenna and the SAM M10Q. The SAM M10Q is one of the latest offerings from Ublox, one of our favorite sources for global positioning modules. It's compatible with five GNSS constellations, a GPS, QZSS, GLONASS, Beto, and Galileo, and can receive positioning data from up to four constellations simultaneously. And the chip antenna reduces needed footprint size while increasing simplicity. It offers horizontal accuracy of 1.5 meters with a max refresh rate of 5 hertz if reading from four constellations and 18 hertz when reading from a single constellation. It's got a time to fix when reading from four constellations of 23 seconds cold, one second aided, and one second from hot. The board has a maximum operating altitude of 80,000 meters and a maximum velocity of 500 meters per second with velocity accuracy of 0.05 meters per second and heading accuracy of 0.3 degrees. It offers 3.3 volt VCC and IO and its current consumption when receiving information from four constellations is about 13 milliamps during acquisition, 10 milliamps during continuous tracking, and five milliamps during power save tracking with the latter limiting communication to no more than three constellations. The board has a backup battery, a three volt, one milliamp hour, a pair of quick connectors, and PTH connections to allow you more communication and control of the SAM M10Q. Now you may be thinking, Rob, why another GNSS module? Well, here at SparkFun, we know some things. We know that global positioning modules continue to get more accurate and less expensive. We also know that every project is gonna have slightly different needs, and we wanna to try to have a board to meet both the needs of the project and the budget. Uh, yeah, let's, let's compare the M10Q to the M8Q. Now, say you know that receiving positional data from three constellations is gonna be fine for your project. Well, SAM M8Q. But maybe because of your location or a semi-obstructed view of the sky, you wanna make sure you have access to all five constellations up there, M10Q. Now, maybe you know your project is never going to be that high. Maybe it's an autonomous vehicle, it's staying on the ground, whatever. It's never going to get above 50,000 meters, M8Q. But if you've got high altitude dreams for your project, if you want to go up as high as 80,000 meters, you're going to want to go with the M10Q. Uh, say, budgetarily, you want to spend a little less, M8Q. Say you want a little longer battery life. Well, the M10Q is designed for ultra-low current consumption, so M10Q. Thanks, M8Q. Now, like all Ublox modules, the M10Q is configurable using the Windows program uCenter, which actually I believe is in its second iteration now, so it's uCenter 2, and that can be used to customize baud rates, update rates, uh, for geofencing, spoofing detection, external interrupts, and a whole host of other things. So if your next project is gonna need industrial tracking, automation, positional monitoring, or telemetrics, or if you're looking to build an autonomous vehicle, maybe an asset tracker, a DIY drone, even a trackable collar for your puppy, you're gonna to wanna to take a look at the new SparkFun GPS breakout with the chip antenna and the SAM M10Q. Grab yours over at sparkfun.com and happy hacking. And we wanna try and have a module to meet those needs, both both what? M10Q can be configurable, can be configured. GPS modules are continuing to get more accurate. More accurate. <clears throat> once more, once more with feeling.